Kia New Zealand. In your news today, cancer has claimed the life of Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez at the age of 58. Venezuela has deployed its army and police in the wake of its president's death as the nation enters a period of political uncertainty and national mourning. Vice President Nicolas Maduro says the special deployment is intended to protect the people and guarantee the peace. And the government has today declared South Auckland, Waikato, Hawke's Bay and the Bay of Plenty drought zones. The Waikato Regional Council Chairman Peter Buckley says 90% of the feed most farmers in the Waikato are using is coming from their reserves. Most farmers actually do plan for the worst and hope for the best, but they can only plan so much. They can't plan for the extremes. We had a pretty good season last year and some farmers have got feed carried over from that, which is helping them this year. However, Mr Buckley says any help from the government would see farmers through the winter and into next year. Amnesty International has said the recent footage of two men being brutally bashed by Fijian police officers in Fiji is shocking, as the officers repeatedly beat the tied-up men with poles. Grant Bailden from Amnesty International says they're very concerned that the officers involved will go unpunished. Announcing an investigation is a good first step. It's really up to the Fiji government to show that they can run a proper, open, transparent and independent investigation into this. And our Prime Minister is on a Sell New Zealand campaign in Mexico City today. John Key is in the Mexican capital for just a day before heading to Colombia. Mr Key told a business audience that we're open for business and he underlined New Zealand's credentials. World Bank ranks New Zealand third on its ease of doing business survey after Singapore and Hong Kong. We're also first equal on the Transparency International Index for measuring countries' absence of corruption. Syrian refugee numbers are expected to hit 1 million in the next 24 hours. The UN's refugee agency said today that it had registered 992,000 Syrians into the surrounding countries of Iraq, Jordan, Lebanon and Turkey. With the refugees fleeing the escalating violence in Syria, UNICEF New Zealand is warning that without urgent funding, the lives and well-being of Syrian children will be at risk. The Cardinals, who will elect the next Pope, say they're looking for a man with pastoral experience, missionary energy and few ties to the, the Vatican's government. The Cardinals have met for a second day in the pre-conclave talks, but they're not releasing any further details on their closed-door debate. And a beast of a machine will be used to make Auckland's $1.4 billion Waterview Tunnel. The German-designed, state-of-the-art, 14-metre-high tunnel boring machine is the 10th largest machine of its kind. It has been specifically designed for the unique ground conditions of the 2.5-kilometre twin tunnel in the Waterview connection. The machine is due to arrive in Auckland in July to begin tunnelling in October. The Minister of Statistics, Morris Williamson, says over 1.7 million individual and dwelling census forms were filled out via the internet. He says at its peak, the website was handling around 130,000 forms an hour. If you haven't received a form or need an extra form, you can call 0800 Census. And in sports today, the Black Caps won the toss and chose to field in Dunedin for the first test match against England. However, play was rained out for the entire day, but play should hopefully start half an hour early tomorrow morning. And finally, I leave you with some footage of the world's most dangerous sport. The world's largest rodeo and livestock show, the Houston Rodeo, runs for three weeks and is in full swing at the moment as crowds of over 70,000 people cheer on their favourite cowboy. Thankfully, the amount of serious injuries has dropped over the years thanks to the protective equipment they wear, like helmets and chest pads. And that's all from me and the team here at Endzone tonight. Kaki Tiano.